Now, from WHO 13 Sports, this is the Football Friday Primetime Coach's Corner, powered by Homemakers. And welcome to another Coach's Corner, our fourth of the high school football season. I'm Keith Murphy. My primetime partner, Justin Serency, will join us shortly. Here's this week's primetime matchup. It is the Johnston Dragons 2-2 two two on the season at the 3-1 and one Waukee Warriors. These two schools about 10 miles apart as the crow flies. Joining me now in studio is the head coach of the Waukee Warriors, Gabe Baker. Coach, uh, welcome. Good to have you here again. Hey, glad to be here. Uh, three and one on the season, three and zero oh to start. Had a setback last week. What have you seen that you like so far? Uh, I like the way our team's progressing. You know, I think we're continually improving. Uh, the kids take practice seriously. They have fun with it. Uh, but I see us just improving in all aspects of the game. You feel like you learn more after you win a game or after you lose a game? Uh, probably losing a tough competitive game uh, like we did last Friday night. Um, I know our kids learned a lot. But I know our coaching staff did too, just within ourselves and with our players. Your son Beckett is, uh, he's having a great season as the quarterback uh, of the Warriors. How is it coaching your son? Uh, some days are really good, some days it's a little bit difficult, but uh, I've loved every second of it. You know, all, all the kids are like family, but having your own son out there is something special that uh, I was told a long time ago, don't dread it, but just embrace it and have fun with it. And I, I think that's what I do and our whole family does. How do, you, uh, how do you measure whether you feel like I'm uh, being too tough on him because he's my son or I'm not being tough enough on him because I'm, he's my son? Do, do those thoughts enter into your head? Uh, I think they did initially, uh, but now he's just one of the other players, and I think the kids understand our dynamic. And uh, we treat all our players kind of the same, and uh, tough love is kind of how we do it at times. I see that in Waukee uh, you're, you're bringing everybody into the football tent. You have kids' camps. You have uh, – uh, ladies camps, moms camps, you want everybody to love football, understand football. What's behind all that? Uh, I think it's just a sense of community. You know, mm -hmm. when the school split uh, three and a half years ago, we had to create our own identity uh, on our side of town. And uh, we kind of took that small town idea uh, of just getting everybody that we could involve and get a sense of pride. And I think we have as much togetherness in, in the community and our team as possible. You mentioned the split. We had a primetime game shortly after the, the split. And that was, that's a tough thing for a community when, when kids who are brothers on teams and sisters on teams, suddenly they're at a different school and they're competing against each other. How do you think it's going now here a few years later? Uh, I think it's going pretty, pretty well. I, I think both schools have their own identity. Uh, they're comfortable in their own skin. But I also think there is that friendly rivalry because a lot of these kids grew up playing sports together, still went to school together. So um, I, I think it's a good rivalry, but not too uh, um, mean in the, that regard. Al, well, you play the, uh, the Johnson Dragons, a team mm -hmm. certainly has shown itself capable, as I think we're seeing across this entire league. Anybody can beat anybody on a given Friday. Any given Friday seems to be the theme this year. What do you expect from Johnston, and what do you think you have to do to beat the Dragons? Well, we've played them the last three years, and the last two have come down to one score. Uh, <laughs> okay. So they've just been knocked down, drag out defensive battles, uh, and I wouldn't expect anything different. I think it's going to be a competitive game. Uh, who knows if it's going to be a defensive or offensive battle, but I do know that uh, our kids are going to compete, and so are theirs. Joining us later in the show, Carter Johnson, one of the uh, young warriors on your team. Tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, Carter Johnson is a senior uh, captain for our team, plays uh, safety for us. Uh, unquestionably one of the biggest vocal leaders we have and one heck of a football player. Uh, he's improved so much in the last two years and I couldn't be more proud of him. Before we let you get out of here, Coach, former Cyclone, you played for the Cyclones. I'm sure you keep up with what Matt Campbell's doing at Iowa State. He's about to pass Dan McCarney for the most wins of all time. What do you think about what's going on up there in Ames? Uh, same kind of deal. I couldn't be more proud about what's happening up there. You know, when I put on my old Iowa State stuff, there's some pride with it. Because uh, it's easy to follow Matt Campbell. You know, him and Mac are a lot alike in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. uh, I was pretty close to Coach Mac. Uh, every now and then he still shoots me a good luck text on a game day. But, um, no, it, it's awesome to see. And hopefully he sticks around and continues what he's doing up in Ames. I love the way Matt has kept Dan involved in the program. Thank you, Coach. We'll see you Friday night. You bet. Thank you very much. All right, straight ahead on Coach's Corner, Justin joins us from Johnston High School. He's talking X's and O's with the head dragon, Brian Woodley.